sides and like a horseshoe and then the, the middle, the indent of the horseshoe, that's lower. Yes, you want, and that bubble of air. Oh, oh higher than the door. Yeah. If that bubble of air is trapped above the ceiling of your entrance, picture like an underwater right. bubble of air. Right. You want that same effect. Like the abyss, you know? Yeah. They got their laboratory yeah. down there, but right at the, you have an opening to the sea, but it's just sitting there, no problem. Exactly. The idea is, so. we're close. there's an igloo door. The ceiling should be lower than your beds. This one was done wrong and the people in it were cold as a result. But what they did do right is, they have a little shelf here that you can put your feet down in. Or when you come up, you're not degrading your entranceway because there's a little U-shaped depression between the beds. And these are compressed. So even with these compressed, you're still four to six inches off the snow. And this is designed for two people. And the common area in the middle can be a third person or this is where you put your candle for lighting and heat. And only one candle should, should do it if you need it at all for heat because of the way this is. We're gonna glaze, and you can tell this is all ice here. Yeah. We're gonna glaze the inside after it's smoothed out with your hands to prevent drips and to increase the, uh, the permeability or the uh, insulation value. People sometimes put a hole in their Quincy because they think they're gonna suffocate. I've never made a door that tight, mm -hmm. that it's airtight. And the porosity of snow is such that Wait, we're gonna plug it? You don't have to. If you do this right, you don't need a door plug. All right. As long as this chamber is above the ceiling of your door, you'll have a bubble of warm air, right. and there'll still be exchange. As the cold air sinks and leaves, it will create a draw. Yeah. All right. Or the other way around. Excuse the me. As the as warm the... air expands and moves along <laughs> exactly. the top, it's gonna pull in the cold air to make up for the lost space. Right. Think. Of... This particular Quincy's uh, got some issues. The first one being that the door entrance is too high. The second one is the dome is too high. You want to have just enough room to maybe lean forward on your elbows and knees toward the person sleeping opposite you. Uh, this one is twice the height it needs to be, which means all of that volume needs to be heated by your body heat. Very inefficient. So the next design will involve all of those concepts and mistakes made by the previous class and it'll be a three person show again with that little sunken shape